Here it says floor plans. It is called floor plan two. So you hit view, you get floor plan number two. We want to draw the exterior walls first, and then the interior walls. So before we get started, we're going to hit project new. We'll hit browse, residential default, hit open, hit OK. You always want to do a file, new, browse, residential default. Once we have this open, the first step we should do is file, save as project, and save it as project number two in our H drive. So it'll say your username and then H drive. And then you hit options and change your number of backups to one so you don't have a million backups by the end of the week. So you hit one, hit OK, hit save. <clears throat> now we have project two. So we're on first floor. Okay, we're going to start with our exterior wall. So we hit the wall button. We're going to use the generic six for the outside. We're going to change the height to 10 foot. And our location line, we will do finish face exterior. We will start somewhere up in the top left for this particular one. Move our cursor to the right. Looking at our drawing, our overall is 62 on the top. So we're going to bring our cursor over to 62 foot. And then down. And this is where it gets tricky. You don't want to use the outside dimension because this outside dimension takes you all the way to the front of the house. We want to come to this, this corner. So this corner right here is actually 26 feet. If you look at the arrowheads, it tells you right there that from this corner to this corner is 26. So we'll go down 26 foot. Then we're going to come in 18 foot 1 and then down 8 foot so then we'll come down 8 foot and then over to the left to get this front wall that number is 26 foot 10 so we'll go over 26 foot and then 10. As we move our cursor up, we can use the tracking to stop at 8 foot or just type in 8 foot. So I'll use the tracking. It stops it at 8 foot anyway. We'll left click. Move the cursor to the left again. 17 foot 2. Um, off by one inch so let's go try to figure out where that mistake was so sixty two is good there <clears throat> so this one from outside to inside was supposed to be eighteen foot one so I can change Double check. And we're all good. Okay, so drew my outside walls. I hit save. Just get in the habit of hitting save. Outside walls are done. Next, inside walls. These walls right here go from the front all the way to the back. So I'm going to start with those ones. And they're very flush right here so we have to use the correct finish face to get those flush so what we're going to do is go to wall we're going to change our 
wall width to four. Finish face exterior. And I click on this corner. See where it starts on the corner? Right here, the corner. Click on that corner. Then I bring my wall all the way up. So for this side, I'm going to change it to finish face interior. Click on this corner right here. Not the middle, the corner. And then bring this up. Okay, so those two walls are in. It doesn't really matter where you start, so you could start anywhere. Um, we'll start on the right side of the house. I'll draw this bathroom in over here, because this wall is already complete. So I'll draw this bathroom in, and then these closets. So if I want to focus on this side over here. Again, it's personal preference. I'm going to start here. This bathroom is 5 foot 8. And this wall right here is 12 foot 2. So I'm going to draw a wall. I'm going to change this location line to center line. Draw my wall. Click on it. Change my reference lines so that this can be 12 foot 2. So that's in. Draw another wall down to get to the bathroom which will be this, which is 5 foot 8. Again, it's inside, on the inside, outside to the outside wall. So change that to 5 foot 8. That should be good. If it's a little off right now, don't worry about it. Let's just get all the walls in for right now, and then we'll go back and triple check and make sure everything's good at the end this wall where the door is in the master bedroom is three foot six by three ten so wall three foot six by three foot ten like that and then the closet comes down and the closet is two foot nine and five foot two or four foot ten to try to get the separate closets so four foot ten so if I put in a wall in the middle click on one of them so this is supposed to be four foot ten so I'm a little off and that's okay let's just go ahead and get all the walls in once you get to a point like this make sure you save from time to time so that's this section we can go ahead and put the stairwell in right here so it looks like this wall from the closet goes all the way across the house so let's just extend that all the way across the house so this wall goes all the way across that wall is this one going by the stairs bathroom closet I could draw the stairs in which are four foot four from this wall and then up three foot ten Four foot four, three foot ten, and they are twelve foot four long. So twelve foot four long. And then back down. I'm not gonna cut anything out yet to make these openings. I'm just gonna go ahead and get all my walls in first. Next, um, put this bathroom in right down here. That one is five foot one. So draw a wall down, click on it, change my reference. Uh, 
have that bathroom, which is this one. That made the bedroom already, so now I just have to do these closets and this pantry and linen closet. So, um, we'll put this vertical wall. We'll start with the bedroom, actually. Bedroom number two. Putting this wall by the closet in. And this wall. So, 10 foot down. So we'll draw a wall. I'll just bring it all the way across for right now. That's supposed to be 10 foot. And there's supposed to be a wall down that's 13 foot, which is this one here. 13 foot. I can there's the closet in between bedroom one and bedroom two that is three foot deep so if I draw a wall here I just need to make sure that these are three foot and that they are eight foot eight wide. So I have bedroom one, closet, closet, bedroom two, bathroom. I just need to clean up this area right here which would be the linen closet so that should be four foot four four foot five so I'm an inch off I'll change that later Let's put a wall in that's four foot ten for the pantry one that is four foot nine bring this bedroom wall down and lastly another part of the wall right here for the linen closet, which is two foot seven. So all my walls are in. Make sure you save your work so you don't lose anything. Next, I just need to use the cut or split tool to break some things and then start adding windows and doors. Um, We'll do that in the next episode. So this is just getting all the exterior and interior walls in. We can go back as we're adding doors and whatnot to make sure that the measurements are perfect. But for right now, this is very acceptable simply because this um, plan, the wall thicknesses may be different than our wall thicknesses. So it's still going to work as long as our overalls match, which they do. Save your work.